Good morning, everybody. So it is currently Monday. We are in the kitchen giving Harry his porridge. <laughs> As you can see, he's very happy. Um, I posted up last week's vlog. I, I, I don't remember if it was yesterday or Saturday. Uh, but we have had a very busy weekend and actually got quite a lot of, of wedding things done uh, and polished off this weekend. Um, so I am having five tables. Uh, for the evening reception so I am making five different Alice in Wonderland themed centrepieces I've got four currently made and ready <laughs> and I need to make one more uh, but I was searching for log slices to put my centrepieces on because I didn't want them to go on mirrors um, and then I'm going to be scattering uh, metal ring uh, metal keys around the base of each centrepiece on top of the wooden logs so I was been searching high and low. I wanted different sizes. I wanted the biggest one to be around 40 centimeters wide. Um, and I was having quite a lot of difficulty finding that. And then um, a charity got in touch with me after I put a post up on Facebook to search. And it's called the Manchester Wood Project. And it's basically, there's a man in Manchester who he makes all different kind of wooden uh, sculptures, ornaments, uh, bird tables, things like that. And he also sells wooden log slices. All the money goes to help the homeless in Greater Manchester. You can take down um, sleeping bags, coats for men, women and children. They, they, they need help and support for all different ages and sizes. And sometimes he will actually trade so that he will trade you... Um, you know, a few sleeping bags for whatever items that you need from him. So oh. I took down a few children's coats um, just to donate. And I picked my five wood slice, wood, wooden log slices that I wanted from him. He It's all done from his home. He has like a, not a studio as such because it is outdoors, but it's more like a, a little shed basically in his back garden. Um, and I went down and I rooted through all the log slices and I picked out the five that I wanted that would suit me for my sizings. So they're currently in the dining room. Um, because they are proper wood slice, log slices, they do need some treatment. So I need to get some oil to put on the top of them because I think it'll just, he's, well, he recommended it as well. He said it's nice. It brings out all the wood grain and um, the patterns and things in the log slices as well, which I thought would be really pretty. So I'm going to be getting some wood oil to uh, finish the log slices off and I will show you those shortly. We also did the donut wall. So this is something I've been nagging at Chris to do for quite a while. And um, so he measured it out. I did show you the boards on last week's video as well that I've had um, and Chris managed to pick up. So he measured all the sizes and drilled the holes and then I finished it off with the writing, some vinyl writing at the top. Um, the only thing we didn't get around to doing, mainly because we have five children and it was tea time and it was all a bit manic, is he's trying to build a stand to make the, the donut wall freestanding so it stands up on his own. And also it will be the same with the cookie wall as well that we're doing. So I intend to do the... Donut wall, the cookie wall, and the wedding cake sliced up as um, desserts after the food at the wedding as well. So that way I can make sure that everyone's got enough food and make sure that I'm not left with um, a lot of cake and things to come back with. I'd rather it was eaten and enjoyed on the day while it's fresh. Um, so yes, I'm just finishing feeding Harry his breakfast, which he is now all done. And I will show you what we got this weekend. Okay, so these are the wood slices that I uh, picked up from the charity. And there's Harry being cheeky. Um, so they're all different shapes and sizes. Um, they do need a bit of a clean off. And then I'm going to um, be using wood oil to finish them off. See, that side's nicer. Um, but once I use the wood oil, it'll bring out the pattern and all the rings as well in the log slices. So there's quite a lot of different ones, different sizes. Uh, they're all ranging in different shapes because all my centerpieces are different sizes as well. I'm not having the same. So I wanted them to be a little bit different, a bit more realistic. 
Um, but I think I picked the best out of what he had available, to be honest. Um, and it did look like he was quite low on stock. So he does take donations. So if anybody wants to look into it, it's the Manchester Wood Project. He has a group on Facebook. He takes donations of wood and he takes donations of coats, clothes, sleeping bags, um, anything basically to help the homeless out in Greater Manchester. So these are my five log slices that I need to get some wood oil to treat. Try not to trap Harry's fingers. <laughs> and then I'm going to go and show you my donut wall. So here it is. It's not quite finished. It's just propped up at the moment. As you can see, it's um, getting close to the wedding now. So everything's starting to get a bit of a mess. Um, but I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it's shiny as well. So I think Chris picked quite well on the board that he chose. Um, I do have a video of us making it. Some little clips which I will insert um, after I've... Uh, showing you this bit but yeah so I attached the lettering on and then it's just a case of measuring drilling and uh, gluing the wooden dowels in which are quite firm so I have also ordered some doilies as well from Amazon which I will be putting a doily on each of one of the dowels so that when somebody takes a donut they can just take the doily as well with it so they have something to hold and it stops the donuts from being uh, flush against the board as well just a little bit more hygienic something um i just thought it'd be nicer and it's a nicer touch as well so i'm just going to hole punch in the middle of the doilies and put them on top of the dowels and then on the day we'll put some ring donuts and hang those on and then next to it here this will be the cookie wall as well once we've done that so the cookie wall is going to have shelves on it rather than the dowels that we've got on there um, so yes, I will show you the clips now of us making it. just been dumped on here at the moment but the boys tried these on yesterday so we've just got them a pair of charcoal gray school trousers and a white long sleeve shirt and then they've also got um, as well with it a teal waistcoat um, and a teal cravat I was a little bit worried that these might look like magician's waistcoat but when they're on they actually do look very smart and they match the cravats as well that I've got um, for the boys so with the waistcoat the cravat the shirt and the tie they actually look really smart um, and then I also um, ordered some pajamas as well for my bridal party these are from Shein and they are matching colour as well they are in the bag Let's see if I can open this one to show you um, I'm waiting for a second delivery to come through 
um, with the rest of my bridal party's pyjamas. Um, and I've ordered some new pyjamas for myself as well for the morning of the wedding to get ready mainly because the ones that I have and I've hung up I tried them on again and to be honest it looks like I'm just wearing a shirt and pants I'm not really very keen um, so if I can open this bag apologies I'm trying to do it one handed so this is poppies they are long sleeved as you can see they match my colour theme as well I think they were advertised as like dark green but they are very tealy so they are silk pyjamas and they have long sleeve pants and it's button up as well so once they've got the hair and makeup it's a case of just unbuttoning rather than pulling everything over the heads um, and I just thought that those would be a nice touch and they'll go in the gift bags for my bridal party as well once I finish making those good morning everybody it is Wednesday we are on five weeks four days three days three days <laughs> i've lost count it's been that hectic um again my hair is a mess i always look messy on these videos um chris is currently away he went last night um and other works do so he's away tonight and tomorrow night so i am on my own and i am in the office again tomorrow so today has already been a productive day and it's only about half eleven um, I have been and picked up some wood oil from my dad. He's lending me his bottle of wood oil for me to sort out the log slices. I need to sand them down and then I need to use the wood oil on them. Then I have been up to uh, my friend Sammy's who's redone my wording for me for the order of the day. And she's also done the slippers as well for my bridal party. I'm out of breath because I have literally not stopped running around. Um, and what else have I done? Oh, I've picked up my hem party dress, um, which has been delivered to the shop. So I've been there, so posted off some vintage parcels, and then I've just picked up my hem party dress, which I'm going to be trying on later on. Um, I'll do that when Sophie's home from school so she can take a photo of me and I can see how I look in it and see if it suits me. And I also need to wash my hair today as well. Um, I don't think I actually have posted. I did post and do it in the vlog for week seven, which obviously I deleted. So as you know, I suffer from psoriasis, as you can see on my face, and I've bought the Body Shop Ginger Shampoo to help the psoriasis that I get on my scalp. First time using it, it was amazing, stopped the itching straight away, but after the second day, I started to feel itchy again. Um, and since I've washed it after then, now I don't know if it's the stress or the weather or what, but it's sore and it's super itchy again. So I don't think it's actually doing that much good for my psoriasis in all honesty. It is for like dandruff, dry scalp. Um, it doesn't say it specifically helps with psoriasis, but people have said that it does. Personally, I'm finding that it's not helping that much, but it was £8.50 a bottle, so I'm going to carry on using it. So right now, I'm going to be working on my order of the day sign. I just need to glue the hands down and glue the clocks on and then put the wording on. And then I think it's done. I don't want to put too much on it, um, but I will show you. <laughs> the cat's currently mithering. Um, I will show you um, the, basically how it looks. <laughs> Everything is now glued down and I have taken the back off and stuck these the wording down um, in hindsight I'm looking at it thinking if I was to do it again I think I might use white wording because I think it might show up a little bit better but it is what it is it's black now I've been told to just use like a credit card so I'm using my Tesco cook card and just to rub across to make sure that all the wording the letters are stuck down because it is going on to wood now I did varnish the wood uh, but it's still fairly rough even though I sanded it so if I've given that a good push down so now please excuse Harry he's playing in the living room 
<laughs> so far so good. Oh no. Okay, I need to push that down a bit more. This is a little bit nerve wracking. I don't think it's I need to I need to rub it a bit harder, I think. Woohoo! There's letter. It's still lifting up a little bit. I don't think I'm pushing it down hard enough. There we go. Oh, no. So this might take some time, but I thought I'd do one of the um, vinyl, I was going to say vinyl word, but it's not. It's a few words. Uh, but I'll do the first one on the camera and then I'll just get stuck in and do the others and then when I come back I can show you the finished project. Wow, this one is not. Okay. So, oh, I'm being called. That's Harry shouting me. Okay, I think that's temper, but I'm going to go and check on him. I will finish this off shortly. Here he is. Absolutely fine, as expected. He just has a little bit of a temper. Chris blames me. Um, so if something doesn't work the way he wants or doesn't do what he wants, he just tends to go off and scream. Um, we're working on it, aren't we? <laughs> as cute he is, as he is, he just go off like a firework. I finished the first word and I'm now going to get stuck into all of the rest oh, yeah, yeah. and get the sign finished. I'm sorry for somebody who's shouting. He's very loud, very vocal, and he's very happy about it. Good morning, everybody. It's very sunny today, even though it's freezing. Um, I currently have a house full of teenage girls. It is Sophie's 15th birthday tomorrow. It's Saturday, by the way. I have not vlogged for a few days because it's been manic. So I think the last update I did was Wednesday, I think. Um, anyway, I've not done much wedding stuff. Uh, Thursday I was in work all day as well. Um, yesterday we, it just the time ran away from me. I had to go out and get stuff for Sophie's sleepover. So she has four friends sleeping over tonight. They are still here. They have just been treated to bacon sandwiches for breakfast. So I am currently downstairs just going through my wedding stuff. Um, actually having a little bit of a clear out of the stuff that I'm not going to use so I've posted quite a lot of stuff up on Vinted as well because I thought why not um, and I have just packed my bridal party gift bags however I want them personalized as well so I ordered these off Shein they're smaller than what I expected I wanted bigger but I can't be bothered sending them back so I decided to just go with what I have and make it work and I've managed to fit everything in so they've each got personalized slippers they've got pajamas to wear for the morning of the day they've also got a bracelet a necklace and um like a bridesmaid survival kit and oh a little compact mirror I've also put a little compact mirror in there for them as well um my flower girl Layla she has got a personalized drink cup here, which I actually won on a Facebook competition by the way um, wedding giveaways and competitions and stuff on Facebook if you see anything like that especially with small businesses definitely enter it they're like usually like like and share kind of posts um, but I won I won a £20 spend so I ordered Layla the um, drink container and a little rainbow teddy bear as well for her and uh, she's also got a flower girl necklace um, a bracelet as well which is an Alice in Wonderland bracelet and a little compact mirror because I know she'll love the mirror um, so while I've oh gosh sorry about the sun so I've been clearing through everything um, trying to organize what I need to do oh that's what I wanted to show you so these arrived I ordered these from Amazon and they are right four and a half inch wide doilies which I'm going to hole punch in the middle and put them on the donut wall so as you can see 
they actually fit perfectly and it just makes it a little bit more hygienic when people are taking a donut. Good evening everybody. So it is the last day of the week five wedding countdown and I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I've managed to do today. Today is Sophie's birthday so it has all been about birthday celebrations. I did manage to do a couple of wedding bits though that I wanted to share with you. Um, because she's 15 and she disappeared off upstairs to her bedroom for a while. So it was just to show you that I managed to actually print off some things from the internet for free for the wedding. Um, so the first one is this children's activity book. Uh, this is from a website called PJ, uh, pjsandpaint.com. So it's just there at the bottom if you wanted to go and have a look um, on their website. You can actually click on, there is a link on there for you to be able to edit them and personalise them for you as well. Um, but it's got all kinds of I spy, um, word searches, Dr. Dots and colouring and things like that as well for our children to go in the children's activity packs, which I intend to do because we do have a few children coming. And the other thing as well that I wanted to show you is, obviously by now if you've been following my videos, you know that it's an Alice in Wonderland theme. I'm not doing wedding favours as such, but I am going to put little bits out for people to take as mementos of the wedding. So I will be having a basket and I've basically printed out these Let Love Grow envelopes. So they come as a sheet of two, there's two, sorry, on an A4 sheet and I've just cut them out and if I just fill this out because I haven't glued these yet. So it cuts out like this and I have basically just scored all the edges and folded it and next thing I need to do is just glue this bit down and then it will be just a little envelope in which I'm going to put the wildflower seeds in um, and then you can either use double sided sticky tape, you can get personalised stickers uh, which you can get quite cheap off Amazon as well just to, to seal them in as well and I just thought that would be a really nice touch to put out for guests to be able to take them if I end up with a load of seeds left over as I think I've mentioned in either the beginning of this video or last week's video it's not the end of the world because I will use them and um, so I'm happy either way in all honesty so it was just to show you a couple of things that you can get for free for the wedding if you're on a low budget and um, you don't have to break the bank you don't have to buy everything you can make things yourself as well and um, so yeah, that's it. That's it from me for this week. And we are next on to week four. And the weeks are really flying by now as well. And we've still got quite a lot to do. So I will uh, catch up with you next week.